what's good youtube welcome to our first road to borealis video here in modern warfare 3 zombies today we're going to be working on the sva 545 of course just like with our mp grind we already did our mtz off camera just so i had something to use i didn't want to worry about you know oh i, I, I can't get it gold enigma because I'll, I'll be too far ahead so i just decided to say screw it i picked one gun i got it gilded and golden enigma and just didn't worry about the grind and you know that's what i've been using uh for basic dailies and that sort of stuff but today we're going to be going for this sva like i've been saying we have two challenges we have to finish before moving on at level two we get access to this wayward camo which is getting 250 kills at level 13 a challenge we still need to finish is for this Topo Ghast camo, and we need to get five kills without releasing the trigger 20 times. Our third camo, which unlocks level 20, is to get 20, 250 kills in, I'm, this scrolls by so fast, 250 kills in the medium or high threat zone, which is, you know, not too bad if you get pack punch one. And then at level 30, we get access to the chaos camo which we still need to finish and getting 250 kills with the sva while having at least four perks active so we still need 149 for that and we need two more kills or two more five kill streaks without releasing the trigger and then of course for our golden enigma camo we need to get 100 kills and successfully exfil with the gun in a single deployment which will be super, super easy. Taking a look at the build we're going to be using today. We have, actually, you know, real quick, for giggles, we'll put Gilded on. Uh, the build we're running today, we have the Crimson Fate blueprint on because I was using the, the blue variant in all my MP stuff. So I figured zombies, let's switch it up. Let's go to the red. Uh, we have the SVT Precision Barrel for bullet velocity and gun kit control. We have the Sonic Suppressor for some more bullet velocity and damage range. We have the High Grain Rounds for some more bullet velocity and damage range. So we got some high damage attachments. The 60 round mag just to get that mag size up. And then we have the MK3 Reflector, you know, best sight in the game. Might as well use it. Uh, this build isn't anything special. It's just, you know, high damage, high ammo count, which is usually what you want for zombies anyways. And besides that, we're going to get this thing equipped. I need to load in with at least four perks. So we'll go over to schematics. And we can just, you know, I'm not worried about it. We'll just activate all of them. Jug, PhD, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, Stamina. Boy, we'll five perks. Um, and just to make sure we have an easy time, I'll give myself pack one and I'll give myself green rarity and I'm not going to worry about an ammo mod because I don't want the ammo mod to get the kill for me. Uh, and on the same sense, we won't be picking up elemental pop. So without further ado, Let's load in the game and get these challenges done. All right, we're all loaded in. Let's take a look at our surroundings and catch our bearings real quick. I think I want to go do... Man, not really any good contracts near me. Maybe we'll just run to this tier 2 Aether Extractor. Over in the orange zone. Oh, let's, uh, let's get our perks on before we forget. And then green tier and pack a punch. Oh, actually, this would be good. This would be good right here. Let's get a couple of these popped. All right, five kills without letting go of the trigger. That should have been five. 
Oh, I let go. It's forced to have it. I don't know why I did it. Come, come, zom zoms. Come, come. Over here. Oh, here we go. This is a good group. Yep. Alright, so we got that came unlocked. Now we just need to get the rest of our kills done. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, you get a free perk right here. I believe it's PhD. All you need is a vehicle. You drive it up this statue. And then the vehicle will land somewhere down by this pad. And a reward rift will open up and give you free PhD. All right, we'll hop on over to that. I wish I could see how many, how many kills I had, you know? It doesn't say anywhere. All right, we're gonna charge this up to about 50%. But no more than 80, because 80 they'll start spawning inside and it'll actually slow down. So 50% is all we want to do. Dude, why are you so fast? Excuse me, boys. Where are all the hellhounds coming from? down a decoy. And come back in here. Charge it up a bit. Throw down another decoy. You're a problem. You're a real big problem. Oh. Hey, good thing we shot the car, we distracted these guys. Another disciple?
disciples, manglers. This really is the best grinding method if you have bosses to do. I probably should be one more pack up for some confidence, but it's alright. If I have to cancel and go somewhere else, I'll do it, but... I need to run through the inside and grab some ammo. If there's still any dropped ammo in here. There we go. We got there some money. Excuse me, pardon me. I got stuck. All right, I'm just gonna finish this and then we'll go somewhere else. Why is the sentry gun not working anymore? There we go. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Take this. All right, all right, all right, you're tough. Okay, so we got ourselves a good amount of kills doing that. I'm just confident enough that one maybe two calls of the exil should be all we need to get that next camo and subsequently get our you know 100 kills in a game so we're just gonna fly over to this exo over here 
we're going to take out the natural spawning zombies and then we'll take out the zombies that call in from the exo and it should be more than enough it helps to, to take out every zombie we see on the way there too helps guarantee yeah there it is there's our 250 kills Now, every kill we got up until now should count towards our 100 kills and successful exfil. But we should get more than enough in this anyways to account for it. That guy just... He said, nope, I'm out. Sometimes I feel like I get a lot. Sometimes I feel like I don't get any. This is the time where I feel like I'm not getting very many. It does vary, though. Oh, and now we have someone else here. Hello, friend. Hello, Supreme Leader. I don't think I have to get 100 kills after that last camo. I'm pretty sure it just counts anyways. Did we get it? It always takes so long to load back into zombies. Golden Enigma. Camo unlocked. Let's go check it out in a private match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Golden Enigma on our SVA assault rifle. This camo is gorgeous. I love Golden Enigma so much. I think it looks so much better than Gilded. Gilded is still fantastic, do not get me wrong. But Golden Enigma, that primary white with the gold underneath, the gold accenting the white and the black accenting the gold, it looks perfect. It's so cool. One of my favorite gold camos of all time the challenge itself for golden enigma where you have to get 100 kills and successfully exfil is pretty darn easy consider those 100 kills can happen at any point during your game they do not have to happen after you finish the four basic camos you know it just makes it easier if you can get your fourth camo and then just exfil without you don't have to worry about killing anything you don't have to risk it you can just go for it so it's definitely uh an easy challenge to do the base camo challenges can be surprisingly tedious, you know, getting those 250 kills with at least four perks. If you don't have the schematics for that, then you got to grind up the money to get your perks or you have to use rewards from your uh, missions. And it, it just adds extra time or the kills in the tier two or three or the medium or low high threat zone, uh, medium or low threat high, medium or high threat zones. Um, you know, you got to grind up for Pack-A-Punch and you have to get your Aether tools to get your rarity up. And it's, it's just one of those things that can be tedious. Killing Mimics, you have to go find them. Or Manglers, you have to go find them. Or, you know, whatever it is. But for this Golden Enigma camo, it is perfect. I love it. Can't wait to use some more of it if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below and subscribe for more content just like this let me know down in the comment section if you are enjoying modern warfare 3 zombies i'm absolutely loving it so far i think it's uh the perfect evolution of what outbreak was outbreak 2 can still come back i'm okay with that they are two completely separate modes and i understand it and i want them both to exist so i think this is a natural outbreak dmz progression if you slap the two modes together, this is what I would want. Um, but I am okay if they do make an outbreak too. And I hope they do. I want these modes to coexist. Down in the description is every link you need to keep up with me and everything Call of Duty. And on screen now is our official group sharpshooters. Find someone to play zombies with. With that being said, I will see you all next time.